What's up guys, your boy Proper Style, AKA Prince. Uh, not one for the semantics, not gonna do the whole theoretical, oh my God, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm losing this, I'm losing that. No, so today what we're doing is we're gonna be unboxing the new G2 blower. Um, most of you that have followed me on the forums know that I've been on a ESS 625 kit with my E90, which uses the Vortec V3 SI blower, which obviously you can see here powder coated nice wrinkle black courtesy of elite coatings here in Colleen, Texas. But we're moving on to the G2 blower. Like I'm I'm so happy about this. Like um ESS originally would not sell this unless you had a built motor. And after speaking over a few times with AJ, he finally went ahead and allowed me to purchase the G2 blower. Uh, currently, I'm not tuned by ESS. My car's not supported by ESS. We're actually supported by uh, RK Tunes. Shout out to Jordan, who's been a big help um, with going along with the setup that we've done. Uh, this is like the second car that he did for doing uh, the 1050cc injectors, fuel it aftermarket pump, uh, full E85, no games, no gimmicks, no nonsense. And so we're going to go ahead and do the unboxing of the G2 blower now. Go over those in a bit. Let's just get to the uh, the good stuff. So pretty, so pretty. Now, before obviously we take it out, um, what you're looking at is actually the back side of the blower. This is the pulley side. There's obviously no pulley on it. Um, I'm sure there's pulleys inside the box, but uh, the pulley that I actually had on my ESS kit was actually a, uh, a 3.1 millimeter pulley. And the whole reason why we were even looking at doing this upgrade was because at this point running that small of a pulley, the car was generating more heat than the intercooler was able to dissipate with it having to spin as, as hard. So at one point we were about 30 degrees over ambient, um, which in the wintertime is not bad because you know it's, it's cold here in Texas in the wintertime we see you know 30s and 40s. So you know if you're out doing any type of pools or going to the track late at night, then you know the car keeps under temp. But moving into the summertime where you're seeing 80s and 90 degree temps being 30 degree over ambient and then trying to race with the car or anything like that just puts your motor at even more of greater of a stress with IETs being in the 140s and 150s. So that is the whole purpose going with this. Getting back to the blower. So pull this bad boy out. Bad boy got some weight to it. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. This thing is a lot bigger than the V3 is. Jesus. Oh, we like that. Woo. Rest of the unboxing. Associated needed hardware.
very nice. So this is the newer bracket. Um, a lot of people saw the previous bracket that was made by ESS that actually um, was a bit thinner than this. The whole piece went around like this, eh, kind of ugly. Um, so they revamped the bracket, new billet bracket with uh, billet idlers uh, for uh, the belt drive system. And this actually is lighter than the old bracket, which is surprising because it's obviously so large in comparison. Um, so we'll have to actually give uh, a ESS and them a call to see which uh, which pulley to start off with because they didn't give us one inside the inside the kit and we obviously can't use the pulley that we were using on the car. That pulley is way too small um, for being on a stock motor and this blower is going to produce a lot more CFM at a lower spinning rate than the Vortec V3 was. So um, we'll have to uh, look into ordering a pulley possibly we can still order the vortex pulleys they still do fit on this blower we'll have to do some research into which one will go perfect for starting out we're probably going to start off around 10 psi um we're currently running 11 psi 11 to 12 psi in the vortex v3 but obviously that's a bit bit on the high end uh for as high as this motor revs so we're gonna end up getting into that and i'll keep you guys updated until then catch you later